coming into your Twitter airwaves. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Woo, how is everybody doing this wonderful day? And welcome to the Stat Room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so before I get into this video, let me introduce myself. Guys, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so week nine is in the book, and let's recap last week's plays. All right, so first up, we had Cousins, our quarterback. He did well. He gave us over 20 points. The running back, Cook, was the best player on the slate, like I told you guys he would be. And run, the wide receiver, Jeffries, didn't do as well as we wanted, but he didn't kill a lineup either. And then last, our tight end position only did 1.9 fantasy points. All right, guys, so let me give you a, a bit of free advice and, and something that will really help you when you're trying to cash in DFS. Once you set your lineups, ladies and gentlemen, every time you go back and you take players out and you keep wallowing back and forth, you're going to lose. Your odds go down. If When you set your lineup, the only way you change a player is if a player gets hurt. Don't listen to ESPN. Don't listen to any other site. Go with your gut. You have a gut for a reason. All right, guys, let's get right into it. All right, so you got Washington at Detroit. I like that game. Jacksonville at Green Bay. That's a good fantasy game. Houston at Cleveland. Great fantasy game. Philly at New, New, New York Giants. That's going to be a game that's going to have good fantasy numbers, but it's going to go overlooked. Tampa Bay at Carolina. Good fantasy game. Denver at the at the Chargers. That should be a – I mean, the Denver at the – Raiders, that should be a good fantasy game. Buffalo at Arizona is going to be high scoring. You got the Chargers at Miami. And Tua Tunga by Loa has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. So I like that game. San Francisco at New Orleans. I'm not sure how I feel about this game. With San Francisco having so many injuries, I'm not sure if they'll be able to keep pace with New Orleans. Seattle at the Rams. That's an interesting game. And last but not least, Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. Division rivals. And Pittsburgh pulled out a gutsy win. My only concern with Pittsburgh is Ben Roethlisberger hasn't made it a full season in four years and he's starting to get nicked up and I hope for Pittsburgh's sake and for fantasy purposes that Ben can stay healthy. If not, Pittsburgh will be in trouble. You saw how it went last year when the backups came in. All right, guys. So look, you got Mary, Rogers, Wilson, Allen. I'm giving you guys, I'm giving you guys Baker Mayfield. I know he's on the COVID list. But Houston is a team, they just let a, a rookie quarterback in his first start put up 25 fantasy points, Lutton. Now Lutton, don't get me wrong, I, I told a couple of my subscribers to play Lutton, and I hope they did because he was, he was pretty good. But Mayfield, to me, is a better quarterback when he doesn't have Odell Beckham on the field because now he can just go through his progressions and just throw it to the open guy, and they have a great run game. So I like Baker Mayfield to get 25 fantasy points. At the running back position, guys, I'm going to give you guys Connor. Connor always does well against Cincinnati. He just loves to play this team. So I think he had an off week last week, but I think if you look at his numbers last week, he didn't give us the numbers that we wanted. He was really down against Dallas. He only gave us four. Expect 20 plus from Connor this week. All right, at the wide receiver position, guys, I'm going to give you guys Robert Woods. Seattle struggles against number one receivers. They just do. It's just what it is. I think Woods is a lock to get you 17 to 18 fantasy points. All right, guys, and last but not least, the boomstick play of the night is none other than Jacecki. I think that this is the week Jacecki gives us at least 12 to 15 fantasy points. I think he gets it to the end zone this week. So that's it, guys. You got Jacecki, Woods, Connor, and Mayfield. All right, guys. So if you made it this far, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe and leave me a comment and, and let me know how I did. And if you're enjoying the pick so far, if there's anything else that you might want from me, and also look in the description section to if you want to follow me on Twitter or check out the website, bondestatman.com. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. I am on to break down the rest of the slate. So, guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think and ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And good hunting on week 10 of the NFL. 